Today, we're going to explain the difference between two remote monitoring solutions for our CMT series HMIs, VNC and CMT Viewer. VNC, or Virtual Network Computing, is a method by which the display of one device can be viewed and controlled by another. This method is typically used when it is necessary to have complete control of the device acting as a VNC server. In contrast, CMT Viewer is an application developed by WinTech that will run a separate instance of the HMI's project on the remote device. This means that the application does not have to transfer the graphics shown on the HMI's display, and that both the client and server can control different aspects of the project, even while on different windows, simultaneously. Let's take a look at both remote monitoring solutions, starting with VNC. All WinTech HMIs that have a display or are equipped with an HDMI output can function as a VNC server. For CMT HMIs, this function can be enabled within the Settings menu or by using certain system tags within the HMIs project. Once the HMIs VNC server has been enabled and the password set, you may then use a third-party VNC client application to connect to and control the HMI from your PC, smartphone, or tablet. While using a VNC client to control the HMI, the actions that you perform will be visible to the operator. And if the operator attempts to use the HMI during your remote session, their actions will be visible to you as well. This occurs because the VNC client essentially mirrors the graphics shown on the HMI's display and relays your input back to the HMI. Although VNC does not allow the operator and remote client to work independent of each other, the HMI's VNC settings can be configured to allow multiple VNC clients. However, being that there is no predetermined hierarchy for remote control, each client will need to work this out in advance. Now, let's review some of the features of CMT Viewer. Unlike VNC, CMT Viewer does not need to be enabled within the HMI settings menu. However, you will need the HMI's user, update, or system password. Once you have the appropriate password, you can log in to the HMI through the CMT Viewer application, and the HMI's project will begin to download and run on your device. While running your own instance of the HMI's project, you can navigate through and modify the state or value of the registers or tags assigned to objects independent of the operator. The data related to the modifications that you make will be transferred to the HMI. And if the operator changes a value locally, your instance of the project will update as well. These updates will occur much faster than they would while using VNC because CMT Viewer does not transfer or mirror information related to the graphics on the HMI's display. This solution is extremely useful when there are windows restricted to an admin or engineer within the project, as an engineer can access these windows remotely through the CMT Viewer application on their smartphone, tablet, or PC without interfering with the operator's current task. By default, a CMT series HMI can be accessed by up to three clients simultaneously. However, this limit can be increased to as many as 10 by modifying the max connect count within the system parameters of the Easy Builder Pro project. With multi-user control, there is always a fear that a remote client will activate or modify the system in a way that makes conditions dangerous for the operator. To alleviate these concerns, Wintech Labs has implemented a special form of security called a control token. A control token is used to determine if and when a remote client can access an object. This will allow the individual that is designing the HMI's project to protect crucial features that should only be controlled by the operator. So far, we have discussed what makes CMT Viewer different from VNC. However, there is one big similarity. 
both CMT Viewer and VNC can be used on a local network or through Easy Access 2.0. Easy Access 2.0 is Wintech's VPN solution that will allow your phone, tablet, or PC to access the HMI through an encrypted connection over the internet. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.